things are really going to change for us, Erin. Yep, and even just compared to yesterday, things have changed. So I'm going to try to walk you through it. Keep in mind that a lot is going to change as we get closer to this weekend. But what we are dealing with right now are temperatures in the mid and upper 60s. This is nearly 20 degrees warmer than where we were this time yesterday. And after starting in the 20s and low 30s this morning, it's a very welcome sight. I've got a low of 37 at DFW tomorrow, a high of 68. There will likely be some spots to the west that get into the low 70s. But then tomorrow night, we're going to be watching as our next cold front arrives. And this is going to bring the chance for some rain and storm activity. So I don't want you to not be prepared for some stormy weather in the overnight hours Thursday into Friday. You notice with First Alert Futurecast, we don't see much of anything except the cloud cover increasing through about 9, 10 o'clock in the evening. It's after midnight that I think we start to see some rain and storm activity kind of moving up along the 35 corridor from the south. So it's impacting areas south and east of the Metroplex. Uh, you notice by 1 a.m. we've got some storms kind of moving through Kaufman County, Navarro County, into Henderson County as well. And then it becomes a little bit stronger as we get uh, well to the east of most of the area here in North Texas. So that's 2.15 in the morning. Watch what happens as we head into Friday morning, kind of along the Red River. This is much colder air moving in behind this front, so maybe a few flurries. It's going to be too windy and too warm to actually see anything stick, but it will be a chilly Friday morning, uh, not really expecting impacts from this winter weather. And then you notice as we head into the afternoon, we start to see sunshine. But with these storms tomorrow night, we're talking midnight to about 3, 4 a.m., there is a level 2 slight risk for areas east of 35. So we're going to be watching for some small hail, some gusty winds with these storms. I do think they intensify a little bit more once they move into East Texas, though. So we're not issuing a weather alert with this system kind of moving through overnight tomorrow into Friday. You do notice, though, that on Friday we've got a high of 46. Saturday, I've got a high of 56, but south winds turning to the north winds and that arrow indicating that the temperatures are going to fall. I have this cold front, this Arctic front, moving in faster than I did yesterday, which means we've gone with a weather alert on Sunday. We have our weather alert on Monday. We're also issuing a weather alert for Tuesday because these temperatures are going to be dangerously cold. Notice a high of 28 on Sunday, a high of 26 on Monday, and not much better as we head into Tuesday. So we're talking about highs below freezing for several days. Lows are going to be in the same Single digits and teens. By Monday morning, I am expecting wind chills basically below zero, below zero across the entire area. A lot of people asking about winter precip. We've upped those chances slightly, but this doesn't look like Armageddon right now. This is not 2021, but we do want you to prepare. You heard Robbie talking about it. We're going to be talking about it over the next few days. We are wanting you to prepare for the cold weather and the possibility of some winter weather. So this is the GFS model. This is the model that really hasn't shown much winter weather with this system over the last couple of days. Now watch what happens as we get into Sunday afternoon. Along and east of 35, we're seeing ice and snow. This is going to last into Monday morning if this happens. Models coming into more agreement now. We're not talking about a huge event. We're talking about maybe less than a half inch of snow in some spots, less than five hundredths of an inch of ice. So this will be impactful, uh, but we don't want you to talk uh, to not realize that this cold is going to be impactful as well. A low of 11 Monday, a low of 12 Tuesday, and those wind chills below zero, guys.